This is the triangle, which will try to balance itself with the help of all the sensors and actuators on board. This is the most unstable position for the triangle. Without external support, it will fall on either side. To keep it balanced, we will use the shifting of the center of gravity technique. When the triangle is upright, its center of gravity remains right above its base. If the triangle falls left, then the CG shifts left and moves beyond the base. So the triangle tips over. The same goes for the right side. So, to keep it balanced, we have added a servo motor with counterweight on its shaft. Now if the triangle falls on one side, the servo motor will move the weight on the opposite side. So their combined CG remains at the same place. These kinds of projects usually use MPU 6050 IMU, but we have used an ultrasonic sensor. It measures its distance from the ground. There are two sensors, but the other sensor is just for equal dead weight. It is not connected. How to make it? To make the triangle, we will first take cardboard and cut it as per our requirements, then fold it from two lines and join its edges to complete the triangle. Technically speaking, this is a prism shape. We can also call it a fuselage. Now we will cut and add wings to it. We have made holes on both of its wings to mount ultrasonic sensors. There are holes in the fuselage to secure the servo motor. This is how it looks after mounting sensors on its wings and servo motor on the fuselage. Can you please show the CAD design so that I can 3D print it? This is the CAD design. Here we can see the yellow colored triangular fuselage. This is the wing attached to the fuselage. Two ultrasonic sensors are mounted in the wing, facing downwards, and here we have a servo motor fixed on the fuselage. The servo motor has a counterweight to keep this triangle balanced. This is the circuit schematic of the self-balancing triangle. This is how the ultrasonic sensor is being interfaced with the microcontroller. We will be using only one ultrasonic sensor. Another sensor is just used to keep it balanced. Now let's check whether it's working. Let's see the serial plotter. Here we can see the graph proportional to the movement of the triangle. It is directly proportional. Now we can move forward to mount a servo motor, which will keep it balanced. Now we have mounted the servo motor on the fuselage, attached a link to its horn, and uploaded the code. So, whenever the triangle falls on the left side, the link is moved right. And whenever the triangle falls towards the right, the link should be moved left to counterbalance. Oh, it's moving in the opposite direction. We made a mistake in the code. Okay, now we have rectified the mistake. Now, whenever the triangle falls on the left side, the link is moved right. And whenever the triangle falls towards the right, the link moves left to keep it balanced. Still, it is not able to balance itself. Something needs to be done. We attached some weight to the link. This increases the weight on the other side as the triangle falls on one side. This may help to keep it balanced. No, but it doesn't want to balance itself. It is misbehaving and expressing its disagreement by jerking and rotating a 180 degree rotatable servo to 360 degrees. There is some issue with the sensor data. Even if the distance is constant, the data gives a continuous train of impulses. Because of that, the servo motor keeps on vibrating. This is one of the reasons why it is not able to balance. These kinds of issues arise because we are using an ultrasonic sensor to keep it balanced, which is not its job. An MPU 6050 the inertial measurement unit is made for such balancing jobs. And the actuation function provided to the motor was directly proportional to the input sensor data. Instead, the actuation function should be via PID. This project was not successful. We are not able to balance the triangle. But no regrets. We will modify it further to make it balance itself in its next version. We are not able to balance the triangle. But no regrets. We will modify it further to make it balance itself in its next version. So, if you like this project, then make one for yourself and let us know about it. That's all for now. See you again with more robotic technologies. Robotics every day.